have we caught them? If there really is a highly developed alien civilization out there, it must have left a technical fingerprint. And lo and behold, we're currently being confronted with sensational headlines claiming that NASA has just detected a bright carpet of city lights on an alien planet. But what is the truth behind these sensational claims? Has mankind's oldest question, whether we are really alone in the universe, finally been answered with absolute certainty? Or would we be well advised to treat such reports with a healthy dose of skepticism? Not so long ago, two researchers from the University of Nottingham hit the headlines with some startling news. There could be a staggering 36 advanced alien civilizations, and that's just in our local Milky Way, mind you. This was the conclusion reached by Tom Westby and Christopher Consilice as part of an astrophysics study. Assuming that the development of intelligent life on other planets takes as long as it does on Earth, there should be at least a few dozen advanced alien races slumbering in our galactic neighborhood. But let's assume that these theoretical considerations actually correspond to reality. Where on Earth are our extraterrestrial contemporaries then? Well, this is a paradox that experts have been grappling with for many decades. But more on that later. Westby and Kutsilice explain the mysterious absence of the aliens with the enormous distances that separate the various civilizations from each other. After all, they are on average around 17,000 light years apart. And to put this into perspective, the unit of length of the light year indicates the distance that light can travel in a vacuum within a year. In detail, this is 9.46 trillion kilometers. And yet there seems to be a celestial body out there that could tell us something about our hidden neighbors despite the vast distances. In astronomical circles, the mysterious object is known as KIC 8462852. But apart from that, it's better known as Tabby's Star. Located in the constellation Swan, around 1470 light years away from our earthly home, Tabby's Star has 1.4 times the mass of the Sun and shines five times brighter. However, the glittering celestial body is attracting the attention of experts primarily due to one extraordinary circumstance. It is repeatedly subject to extreme fluctuations in brightness that turn every known pattern on its head and which we simply cannot explain. The Home System of an Alien Civilization? The transit method has proved to be a real guarantee of success in the search for new planets in the depths of space. As part of this indirect detection method, experts focus on the reoccurring fluctuations in brightness that a planet triggers as it passes by its parent star. In this way, however, the researchers can not only reveal the mere existence of a planetary companion, but also reveal some of its basic characteristics, such as the planetary radius, orbital period, and orbital inclination. From 2009 to 2013, the Kepler Space Telescope took a close look at around 150,000 stars to examine them for telltale fluctuations in brightness. With success, Kepler was ultimately able to add over 2,300 new exoplanets to the star maps. However, we now know of a total of 5,580 planetary worlds that orbit a host star other than the Sun. However, the planet hunters were able to make another, far stranger discovery at the time. And as you can probably guess, it involved Tabby's star, which henceforth earned the title the strangest star in the universe. And for good reason. Tabby's star repeatedly experiences brief dips in brightness, which at first glance are reminiscent of planetary transit, but in stark contrast occur completely irregularly. In the most extreme cases, the star loses almost a quarter of its luminosity, and we know of no planet, no matter how gigantic, that could accomplish this anywhere else in the universe. Just as mysterious as the intensity is the time frame of these events. On one occasion, the star's brightness reduced by 16% within a single day, only to climb back to its initial value the next day. In other cases, however, Tabby star then took much longer to shine in its original splendor. But how can these mysterious phenomena be explained? Well, the most exciting and controversial theory is based on the idea that we are dealing with the work of an extraterrestrial civilization. 
with colossal artificial constructs that serve to harness as much stellar energy as possible. One such megastructure is known in detail as the Dyson Sphere, but so far it only exists in science fiction. In fact, this crazy concept has not just been around since yesterday. It was described back in 1960 by the physicist Freeman Dyson in the journal Science. The assumption was that at some point a highly developed alien civilization would need all the energy of its host star. And what could be more obvious than enveloping the radiant celestial body with oversized solar panels and transforming it into a gigantic solar power plant? So are the aliens currently building a Dyson Sphere around Tabby's star? It's undisputed that this explanation sounds extremely spectacular. But it's also undisputed that it has a big catch. According to our current state of knowledge, the covering of such a construct would also be accompanied by an additional infrared component, which has not yet been detected in the case of Tabby's star. And so it is that most experts prefer to turn to other, somewhat more natural explanations. Among other things, comet fragments or dust rings are suspected to be behind the unusual dips in brightness. Alternatively, Tabby's star could also be much younger than thought and still have an accretion disk of dust and gas. Another theory is that the star could have swallowed a planet. The debris left over from the collision could make the celestial body appear dimmer from our point of view than it actually is. As the James Webb Telescope Detected Artificial City Lights However, it should be noted at this point that even explanations far removed from Dyson spheres and alien peoples cannot currently be proven. Things look a little clearer in the case of the city lights that the James Webb Telescope recently detected on the surface of Proxima Centauri b. And this is hardly surprising. After all, the celestial body is the closest exoplanet to Earth at a distance of just 4.2 light-years. It also scores 0.87 on the Earth's Similarity Index and can therefore be confidently described as Earth's cosmic twin. With this knowledge in mind, it seemed only a matter of time before Webb uncovered the telltale signatures of our extraterrestrial neighbors, ending all debates about the existence of aliens once and for all. To be honest, however, the revolutionary discovery of the century also has one tiny caveat. It never happened. Despite all the lurid headlines, we are simply dealing with the extreme distortion of another discovery, which is actually extremely exciting in itself. Basically, however, we don't even know at present whether Proxima Centauri b is habitable at all. The planet is divided into a scorching hot day side and a freezing cold night side. If at all, life could only have developed there in the temperate twilight zone. However, this would require a stable atmosphere, about whose existence and possible composition we still have no information. It is true that the James Webb Telescope has detected a mysterious light phenomenon on the alien celestial body, but it is neither an artificially illuminated alien metropolis nor a planet. In reality, W1935 is a brown dwarf and therefore an object that astronomers also refer to as a failed star. Brown dwarfs do not have enough mass to fuse hydrogen in their cores. At the same time, although they are larger than planets, they are still too small and too old to be considered stars. Excitingly, however, Webb has now discovered an infrared emission of methane in the regions of W1935 and thus presented scientists with a major puzzle. This is because the brown dwarf is cold and has no host star and therefore no energy source that could heat up its upper atmosphere and cause the methane to glow. The terrestrial auroras are caused by the interplay between the electrically charged particles of the solar wind and the oxygen and nitrogen atoms in the upper layers of the atomic sphere. However, as there is no nearby star in the vicinity of W1935 that could trigger the prancing light show, the NASA experts believe that the aurora is formed by an internal process. In detail, the researchers have observed a so-called temperature inversion in the atmosphere of the celestial body. Normally, the temperature decreases steadily with increasing altitude. But in the atmosphere of the brown dwarf, the exact opposite is the case. 
What is behind this temperature inversion, however, remains to be discovered. W1935 is the first object without an external heat source on which this phenomenon has been observed. To the aliens, where are you hiding? If you are an alien yourself, please tell us in the comments. Otherwise, we have no choice but to come to a sobering realization. Despite all the bizarre UFO clips and supposed insider information, we have not yet succeeded in proving the existence of extraterrestrial life. But why is that? The times when life on Earth was considered unique seem to be long gone. In addition to the scientists mentioning at the beginning, many other experts are now convinced that we are not alone in the universe. Although we've received the infamous WOW signal and sent several messages into space on board space probes, we have not yet officially found anything. This is a very puzzling circumstance, which the Italian physicist Enrico Fermi summed up as early as 1950 with the following question. Where is everyone? If there really were highly developed alien civilizations in the Milky Way, they would have had more than enough time to colonize half the galaxy or at least leave clear signs of their existence. As mentioned, however, reality paints a very different picture, and experts have been trying to crack the Fermi paradox for almost 75 years now. The first attempt at an explanation seems almost unbelievable in the view of the exuberant diversity of the cosmos. Earth is actually the only planet on which life has flourished. Then there are the distances mentioned at the beginning which make contact impossible in practice, and in theory that each civilization is at most capable of colonizing its direct neighboring systems within a limited radius. Furthermore, some experts are of the opinion that technological advancement is always a ride on the racer's edge, and sooner or later ends in the self-extinction of a civilization. Possible causes of extinction include uncontrollable greenhouse effects, genetically manipulated pathogens, and devastating wars of annihilation. However, it is also possible that our hidden neighbors are not all that interested in making themselves known, simply because they are aware of the dangers lurking in the vastness of space. In detail, hostile species could actively try to wipe out other civilizations in order to eliminate potential enemies or competitors for resources. To avoid being caught in the crosshairs of the brutal invaders, most civilizations would therefore do everything in their power to remain undetected for as long as possible. In the case of humanity, however, this train has unfortunately already left the station. We've already sent a lot of basic information about Earth and its inhabitants into space, and can probably only hope that it doesn't fall into the wrong alien hands. At the same time, we also hope that your hands will now reach the subscribe button. We'd love you to become part of our community and never miss another exciting video from us.